welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing uh, kitting up. I'm going to be kitting up four diamond paintings. This is actually, I guess, kind of a follow-up from last week's kitting up. Uh, this is all stuff from my stash and it's all going to be for my mom. So when I was looking at how many diamond paintings I had kitted up that I was going to bring to when I visit my sister, I was like, uh, or go to my sister's house where my mom is currently staying. I was like, there's 10 of diamond paintings here, but only two of them are bigger than the 25 by 35, you know, size. And I was thinking, that's not enough. <laughs> so I went through the my stash and found some bigger ones. My mom even sent me a message today and she was like, um, can you bring more diamond paintings? I only have three left. So I was like, okay, even if I'm going to bring the 10, if eight of them are small, it's not going to be enough. So I went through my stash and looked for more things to kit up. So this is what I found. So there's going to be four diamond paintings. There's this fishes, this one that has some sunflowers with a, it's okay to make mistakes, to have bad days to be less than perfect. I don't know if the words are going to show up. To do what's... What's... See, on camera I could read it. It says best. Best for you. In person it's like, I don't know, what is this? <laughs> so it just needs to be zoomed out a little bit. To be yourself. And then it's a little off theme, but it's Christmas. So I was like, eh, you know, it could be Christmas in July, right? It's almost July. So some a bird wreath and then some butterflies here so let's do the butterflies why not let's do these butterflies first 20 colors i'm gonna use i was like i was like how many tic tac containers i only have two more left of these this size tic tac containers so i'm gonna kit two up in each diamond in each container so do this one. So what number is this? 409. So if you haven't seen it, my this is where I keep all of my thumbnails. So what what 409, 409? Oh here it is. I keep my thumbnails in there and my little information thing. Okay. So butterfly here. Sometimes I do this prior to starting, but nope, I was like, sometimes full, full showing of what I do. So this one is 40. Yes, 40 by 50. 40 by 50. These are crystal rhinestones, so full drill, poured glue. There are 20 colors, and these are all crystal rhinestones. There is a DMC, and I'm kidding this up on June 3, 6, 3, 2022. So I'm going to move you down a little bit. Down. Oh, and I guess since I didn't show it here, this is from QLUO Shop. I did get this as a PR package. It was $12.99 at the time, and I got this back in January 2022, which is not that long ago. So, and it's a 40 by 50. There you go. I did scan the legend. I've been scanning the legends for my slightly bigger diamond paintings, like the ones bigger than 30 by 40. For whatever reason, I cut better <laughs> when it's in this direction. Don't ask me why. So. So I scan the legend and put it on some removable label paper. And now I'm just going to cut the labels here.
Unfortunately, I didn't put I didn't put the scan in the orientation that I normally like, so it's gonna be a little bit different <laughs> for me at least. I, I like for whatever reason I like it when I'm peeling this from that direction. Yeah, you have your weird you have your weird um, preferences. I think it's just like one of those you did it the first way that way and now you want it always that way. So yes, I'm like uh, I scanned it the wrong direction. So. Because I guess it's easier for me to read it, like, this way for whatever reason than it is to read it this way. But, yeah. Okay, so the, the actual, the actual containers actually has the, these numbers in instead of the one, two, three, which is nice. I, that might actually work out better a little bit. You know what, I think I'm going to get this one because I think there might be ones with a lot. So this one has more of the ones with a lot of the bigger ones. So I might need more of those. So I think this one should fit in just this smaller one. Until I get a gauge of the size of the bag, because sometimes these bags are bigger yeah, I think it will. It'll just be tight fit. Yes, I know I could just get a bigger container, but it's so few left. There, see? It fit after some finagling. Just going to put, so we're on number one. So, one. This one might be a close fit also. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Yeah, because the bags are wider, so it's hard for me to tell how full they are. Because I'm used to the shorter bags. Yeah, I don't think that's going to fit. There's a lot more left over on that one. So. So, two... Three is a lot, so it needs this bigger one here. So I'm recording this about two weeks before it's going to be posted. Yeah, two weeks before it's going to be posted. Because I already have next week's Kidding Up already recorded. And that was when I was kidding up more stuff from my stash for my mom. And and yeah, so this is going to be two weeks before it's posted. So who knows what's going to be posted this week for YouTube? I already oh, so I already have every uh, well, at least as of well for this would have been last week. Why am I talking? It's like last week stuff. I have or. Yeah, last week's stuff. I already have all the videos recorded for that, except my whip and chat. I have to record that. That's the only one I have left for last week's whip and chat. Everything is recorded. And then with this, I'm going to have, I guess, the week that this is going to get posted. <laughs> that week's videos plus, yeah, and then I, I already have one finish one unboxing already recorded. I have finished a couple things so I could record one, two, two more unboxings. So then I'll have like unboxings for the next week where the next week, I, I don't know. Yeah, I should just stop talking about the future because it's, it's too far. In the, <laughs> it's too far. 
I think this one, this one seems fuller, so I don't think it's going to fit in the smaller size. So I, so while I was going through my stash and trying to figure out what to, to kit up, I was, if you saw my video, like, it's actually one of my more popular videos where I show how I store my canvases. I store pretty much my canvases in flat with, in like, like a clear plastic um, poster, I guess. In a clear plastic, like, poster holder thing. I think it's meant for teachers. So then I have two of those and then I was looking through my stash and I'm like, I kind of don't like it anymore. I, it's nice. It's all flat, but I have a lot of diamond paintings now, so it's getting heavy. So it's either I get another one so that I could distribute the distribute the diamond paintings more so that, that my, my containers aren't that heavy. But then it's also hard to organize the stuff. And it's been relatively easy for me to find things because what I do is I don't like be like, where is this one? I just look through it. I'm like, oh, that's the one I want to do. So I never, I never go for where is something I go for. I just flip through the canvases and see which one I want. So then, so then when I was doing that, I was like, okay, and then, and then now it's a mess again. So I was, while I was doing that, I was like, okay, should I change how I store my canvases now that I have a lot? It's nice that I store it flat because then it's by the time I diamond paint most of the time, it has flattened out. Like I, I haven't ironed these and most of them seem pretty flattened out without having to iron it. So that's the one plus of not diamond painting your the stuff you get right away, <laughs> which I have a tendency to to do to kit up or and finish the diamond paintings I get my newer ones so I do have a bunch in my stash so my story is what's my story so yeah so while I was going through it I was like maybe I should try the there is like another way to store your canvases where you get the the storage containers that you would put over your door or something that you they mainly use it for for the you know, the vinyl rolls that people use, you know, when they cut it on their their silhouette or their cricket or something. So then I was like, maybe that's how I should... I've seen it on some Instagram pictures where that's how they store their canvases in those roll keepers for like vinyl, but they store the canvases rolled up. And, and I'm like, maybe I should do it that way. And plus that way also I was thinking so that I get into the habit of diamond painting or at least kidding up because sometimes the kidding up happens and it doesn't get diamond painting that is diamond painted but it might get me in the habit of diamond painting some of my older stash because I've been thinking I was like I've, I've been thinking of doing the 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 decision wheel kind of thing it, it might make me go and do things that are older in my stash as opposed to just the new stuff and so I was thinking if I get one of those vinyl keepers, I could just name, I could just number each lot like one to 30 or something. I forgot how, I think I, I got a 48 vinyl one. I was good. I was thinking of getting the 60, but when I was looking at the dimension, I was like, I was like, either that's going to hang really high on the door. And I'm like, I'm short. I don't want to have to like reach that high or it's going to hang really low. And I don't know if I wanted to have, have like the roll keeper, like be all the way closer to the floor. So I got the one that's 48, so it's like 24 on each side. Um, and I got two. I found one that was a listing for two of them because I was going to separate out my rounds and my squares because after going through my stash, and I'm only going to do, I'm only going to put it in the roll keeper ones, the big ones bigger than the 30 by 40. Like anything smaller than that is just going to stay in my flat thing because I have it. I have it in like a kind of like a booklet thing. So, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is put all, I'm going to have two of them, one for my squares, one for my rounds and my, and, 
And then I'm just going to number them like 1 to 30 or something or whatever, I think 48, 1 to 48. And then I'll use the decision wheel and it'll just like go 1 to 48, but it's not going to, and it's just going to be whatever's in slot number 48. This is actually too much. So, and then, and then if I take something from one of the earlier slots, I'll just move something from the very end into that slot again. So nothing is always going to stay in the same slot. And then, and then maybe that way I'll get my older stuff diamond painted. So yes, I know it's going to end up being out of order, but the G, the G will fit in here into this small one. And then I'll, I'll just have it periodically. Maybe what I'll do is do one and then when I complete that one, then the next kitting up I do after I complete that, I'll add it into the kitting up. Assuming I have space or I don't know. I feel like if it's kitted up, I'm more likely to do it. Although, you know, I have had some stuff kitted up for a while. So yeah, I think, I think that's my, that's my plan. So I might end up making, I don't know if it, yeah, I'll just make it. If people watch it, people watch it. If people don't watch it, then people don't watch it. I'm going to make a video of me, I guess, rolling up all my diamond paintings and putting it into there. And I guess that would be a good way to also kind of have a, here is this, what is in my stash um, video while also do doing organizing at the same time. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm not going to put everything in there because I'm sure it's happened before to, to some of you that you buy a diamond painting, you, you think it's going to look good, and then you, you finally get the diamond painting, and then you see the canvas and you're just like, I don't think that's going to turn out. And, and maybe if I had bought it from, I don't know, Amazon, I might return it. But if you bought it from like AliExpress or something, I don't, I don't, or like a budget diamond painting, I don't think I would make the effort to return it. I would just be like, okay, it's a loss. Maybe I'll just diamond paint it one day when I'm, I have like nothing else to diamond paint. And so I think I'm going to take out those ones where I could have that kind of story. And, but only put in the ones that I'm like, oh, okay, I think this might turn out good and just be like, why haven't I done this? Um, but, but yeah, going through my stash has told, showed me that Okay, I think I have to not diamond paint any of my round diamond paintings and just have my mom do my round diamond painting stash. I don't know why I thought this would fit. Because I, yeah, my, my square diamond painting stash is actually pretty substantial. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think what I'm going to do is now on, I'm not going to diamond paint any of my rounds. It's my, it's my least favorite shape anyway. And, and just have my mom diamond paint them all. Unless I really want to do it. So, until my square stash gets more manageable. <laughs> but yeah, no, I saw, I was like, ooh, these are some really nice squares. I should do more squares. And I do plenty of squares. It was just, you forget you have them. So then you don't end up doing them. And I guess I could I could always flip through this booklet and see what all my thumbnails are, but you I don't know. You you get distracted by the shiny new ones, so you do the shiny new ones. So N has a lot. N has a lot. This I need some big ones. There's three containers for N. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the whole thing is going to fit in here. I'm just wondering if I need three or will two be enough? Two might be enough if I... Maybe. If I try to squeeze it in. Okay, there is some static going on in this one. on this one. 
Yes, it probably doesn't help that I, I'm diamond paint. I'm kidding up directly on plastic. Okay, so since I know there's static on this one, I'll pour some in here. Whatever comes out, and then I'll breathe into it. So that the extra moisture will settle it down. See, like that's nice and more settled there. Breathe into it again. And there you go. Much faster, I think, than the, the dryer sheet route. And, okay, so was I going to try to... to I'm not gonna be able to fill. I like if it fills this much, I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna need uh, another big one or so. okay. That went in more. So I'm just breathing into it so that the extra moisture will help the static set settle down. It's a good thing I have hot breath. <laughs> Maybe I should drink some water. Help, help it go. is N3756. Okay, so my pen. So I need two more. So N3756. Although I don't end up using the DMC for my crystal rhinestones. I might do it for my squares now that the two square crystal rhinestones I got use the DMC and then my square crystal rhinestones that I got from AliExpress that were not part of a diamond painting but were just like extra for bling also use the DMC so I think my squares I'll use this the DMC but for my round rhinestones I'm gonna just do it by eye and but use the crystal code too so Q should fit in here but yeah so if I do end up the doing the organizing my canvas thing it might already be up because i don't know when i'm I, i'm well wait i'm gonna i said this is two weeks ahead so so it's probably not gonna be up yet but it might be up soon or this week it it'll probably just be one of those saturday videos because it's like an extra video <laughs> so It'll be an extra video. Well, that doesn't look like that much. I think it might fit. And I guess that's a nice way of also showing you what's in my stash. If I do the canvas organization video. I don't know how easy, yeah, no, yeah, if I put my camera up high enough, you should be able to see it. That's a lot. I need the big one. So, oh, that one had no static. That just poured 
beautifully in there. So and look, it fit exactly that amount. So I'm gonna, this one is 409 butterfly. And yes, I know, I probably have kitted up other butterflies. <laughs> But there's, this is the only one that's labeled 409, and this was 409 in my diamond paintings in all. So, so there. All right, so let's find the next one. So it'll have to be one of the smaller ones. I have two, I have another one that's slightly bigger. I figure if I put that in one and then the slight, the smaller one, so we'll do this one. Oh wait, 29 colors, 22, this one only has 22, oh yeah, it actually might fit better if I do these two together since there's less colors. I don't know. We will, well, you know what, let's just, it might be better to do this one since there's more colors. Well, the other one is smaller. Well, let's just try. Let's try this one and see if it'll fit in here. So this one has 29 colors. It's this bird. Let's see, bird. So what number is this? measuring tape. So this one is 35 by 35. So where's my pen? So 35 by 35. Full drill with poured glue. There are 29 colors. This is round. I'm pretty sure it's round unless I messed up and accidentally got a Square. No, it's it's usually pretty obvious when it's around, when because the squares are much bigger. You can tell um, because square drills are smaller than round drills. So there is a DMC, and I'm kidding this up today, June three, twenty twenty two. So yeah, so since I didn't show it, so this one is from FG Normal. I got it as a PR package, and back in. October 2021. So. Okay. And I think this was back when I used to still scan the legend. I did end up this the butterfly one was one of my newer ones and I did end up having to scan the legend prior to this video, but these other ones were older that I had back then. I had scanned the legend pretty much all the time. So now I'm just, now I'm on the, I'm going to just scan the legend if it's bigger than a 30 by 40. So that's my, I will scan the legend if it's bigger than a 30 by 40. And then the small other ones will just end up being, or there's only one, or there's only one, what do you call that? 
legend because otherwise I'll just kit up by cutting it off from the legend from the canvas that is my plan so so then when I was scanning the legend for the butterfly I had my stuff that I had recently unboxed that has not gone and into into my storage yet I hadn't stored it away yet oh wait these have like an inner bag okay so there's a bag in a bag okay well, these are the later ones okay oh this is why they're like in little individual oh man are they into little individual pieces okay so we're gonna have to do it by looking for the color and just hope everything's here so 162 is oh, but they're like they're only numbered they're still just numbered like one two so number one is 162 it's this one and no I didn't cut them apart I I don't take that effort if you notice I'm a one cut cutter a one cut cutter so I have seen other folks kit up after they cut them into pieces and I'm and then they cut it off and then they cut it again I'm like nope I'm a one cutter I'm a one cut I cut it so that it's already taken apart by the time I cut it I don't know if that makes sense number two is a green yes, here's two at least it's still following the the legend so yeah so that I don't usually cut apart the bags like this so it's more chaotic that's this is how it came I don't know why it's cut up I'm wondering if someone cut it up and cut it up, cut it up and then returned it and then that's why it's like this when it got to me. Number three looks like it's a pink. That's 25, 24. Okay, number three, number three. I don't see you. Oh, it's not a pink, it's this like brownish color. Okay. See, and this is why if it's going to be cut like this, it has to have the DMC on there. You can't just still just have one, two, three. There. Three hundreds of brown. Brown. Maybe I should just put them in order. I was thinking it wouldn't be too bad. So here's five. 19, 23, 24, 21, 26, 29 is down here, 27 is there, so 9, 8, 25 is down here, oh my goodness, 14, 19, 15, 16, Oh, here's 6, 20, goes after 19, 28 is over here, so 13, 22, this is 18, I don't like having to do this, 17, goes into here, here's 4, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then there's 29. Okay, too much effort, too much effort. But my whole looking for the color wasn't working, so number four.
because apparently it looks like a pink, but it was like a that color. And I think there was just too many colors. Number five. So this one actually has a lot more of the smaller ones, so I'll probably have to take some of these small ones. Because the other one needed a lot of the big ones. So, which is good because there's only going to be six, thir 32 for just the last two. Only 32 slots for the these small containers. So that means there's only three extra. So I could only have three that needs the bigger container. And I could see it pop being that one. <laughs> So, as long as not too many need the bigger container, it should all fit in just the two rows of the Tic Tac container. Oh, well, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do, what I forgot to do is, is highlight these. So I'm going to get this so that I don't accidentally highlight my, my, my table cloth thing. Highlight them so that it differentiates it from the other diamond painting that's kitted up in there. So, green. Because that's what happens when you have two things kitted up in there. I mean, sure, they look different. The stickers look different. But it's just easier just to have something very fast to look at. And plus, one is crystal rhinestone and one's regular drills. So <laughs> it's pretty obvious that you're going to be on the wrong diamond painting, but... Just, you know, to make sure. So yeah, I still think I just need a bunch of small ones. So I'm probably not going to need all these big ones. I must have had something kitted up in here that needed a whole bunch of big ones. So. So far, no static in this one. And what did I... S I just jinx myself. <laughs> but, okay, so far... I think I need all these big ones, so just small ones. I do have more of the small Tic Tac containers than the large ones, so I only... If I have excess that I need to fill in, it'll be filled in with a small Tic Tac container. <laughs> so. Number 10, looks like it's only a little bit also, so I just need there. Man, I don't like it when they're cut up. There's just too many little pieces left. Too many little pieces of plastic that I have to put together. Number 11 is 704. Just making sure I'm still on track. It's the right color, so, but... Yeah, see, the one cutting means that I have less pieces of plastic. Individual pieces of plastic. But now I have two, three, okay. twelve. Okay, that looks right. Seven thirty nine here. Thirteen making sure I'm the right one because 
The next two are both oranges. Okay. I need more smaller ones. I might have to take from the other one that's over there. And I also have a bigger Tic Tac container that I was like, if I need extra different sizes, I should be able to take from there also. So. Seven forty one is this lovely orange color. So, so far, everything is just needed. Let's see. 15. I just need the small container. There was one that flew away. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Flew. Sixteen looks like a light blue. Yep, I'm pretty much having to take all the small ones from the next my next container, so seven seven five. 17 is 824 because the next ones are all blue so I can see where I could have possibly I could see where I could possibly go wrong I've been liking using the Tic Tac containers, especially for these ones that I'm giving my mom because they're they're compact. So when I kit up two diamond paintings for her, see how small this is? And these are two diamond paintings. Sure, there might be a point where it won't fit. So, but if you do like a small one and a well, a medium one and a big one and a small one, it should all they should fit. So. So I feel like it makes good compact storage. And I don't find it that difficult to fill them, so twenty. It is easier to fill them with a container that has a spout. And then I say it's not that hard to fill them in some flyway, but see, it was not that bad. But I know some folks that don't like the Tic Tac containers. But I know some folks, re I, I, I really do like these big Tic Tac containers. I think if it wasn't for the space issue and the fact that I have tons of the small Tic Tac containers, I probably would just use these ones. But I, the whole reason I like them is because I can fit a lot of colors in a small smaller container and unfortunately the bigger ones I won't be able to do as many colors so 22 am I on the right track 22 is the 
So most of this just need the small one, except probably this last one. Okay, I need more small ones. It does have a, a lot more colors than I've been getting on these budget diamond paintings. Because I've been noticing they've been mainly like 20, 24 colors. This one's 29, so I like that. 27. 27 is three is pink, yep. Not 27, 24. I'm on 24. Okay, yes. I'm like making sure I'm, I know how to read. Here. Three six oh nine is twenty five. Okay. So yeah, a lot of colors in this one. <laughs> My mom might not like it. I think she prefers the fewer colors and then she complains when it doesn't turn out as nice and I'm like, it's because there was only a few colors. Twenty-seven. Okay. Need more small ones. Just two more. Because I'm guess I'm going for twenty-nine is the one that needs the big container. Three seven seven zero. reason since you know I'm the there's more tiny pieces of the the bags it's just taking up more space in the plastic bag as opposed to when I was just doing my one cuts okay so 29 is the one that's gonna need probably more than one of these we'll see how much see this is what I mean one cut see I cut it apart and opened it in the same cut No wasted <laughs> cut. <laughs> yeah, there's there's way more. So I need three. Two hundred here. So let's see. F fifty two hundred and over here. F fifty two hundred. And I need my green highlighter. So you know it's this one. Okay, so this one pretty much took up all the space. Did I mess up? I thought I had extra. No, no, no. Okay. What I'm gonna do is move it to this one. And we will attempt to, I thought I, thought I had enough space. Am I, did I not fill these things up? 29, so 29, 30, 31, 32, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, 
So we will just move this to the next one and hope that I find one that will fit. Okay, so the numbers in this one are kind of, the numbers are in order, but the letters are not. Okay. I'll let my mom fix that if she wants to. Okay, so for now, that's going to be in there. And this one is 330 wreath. And we're going to color it green here. Color it green. There. So, yeah, which one am I going? I'll just put this to the side then. And we can continue kitting up in this one. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll continue kitting up in that one. So we could do the one with the lesser amount of colors, maybe. So... So yeah, we'll do this one. This one has 22 colors. Or oh, but the other one, this one's not, this one, yeah. Hmm. I think it should be fine if we do, because see, this one is a smaller one and this one's a bigger one. So I'm thinking there might not, it might be better to, to do this smaller one with the other one and then do this bigger one with this one since, yeah, we will see. And then watch, I messed up and this is not how I should do it and they're not going to fit. Oh, forgot to put away. Forgot to put away the garbage here. I could only have so much garbage on my table. Otherwise, it gets put on my floor until I can I close it up and garbage gets put on my floor until I can deal with it after the video. So, this next one, I forgot to measure it and make my, this thing. So let's, this one is 276, 276. 76, it's here. It's okay. This one is from a colorful DIY. You know, I think I unboxed from them once and they never asked me to do it again, or maybe twice. Maybe once or twice. And then I never heard from them again. But that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So this is supposed to be a 40 by 60, so 51 and a half by 32. So 32 by 51.5. This is a full drill with poured glue and there are 25 colors and these are rounds. There is a DMC and it's 6 3 2022. And yeah, did I show you the info? This is from Colorful DIY. I got it back in September 2021. So yeah. And like I said, Colorful DIY stopped. Well, they, they, I pretty much unbox things and then if the company will email me back or email me and be like, yeah, we want you to do another one. 
And this one was one of those ones that just never asked to do another one. So I think that's the same, that same thing happened with QLUO. They never asked me to do another one, but they did give me a coupon code. So it's, it's in my description box. I don't know if it still works. <laughs> Maybe we will see. Maybe if the coupon code gets used more, they'll, they'll send me another email or something and ask me to do an unboxing. But I haven't really seen that. Like there's certain companies that you see a lot of unboxings for and then certain companies you don't. So I guess it just depends on what their budget is for the for the PR packages. But then if I have one where I say yes and then they never respond back to me ever again, which has happened too, I'm like, I'm like, they're like, oh, we want you to unbox something. And then I'm like, okay. And then never hear from them again. And it's, I'm like, that's okay. All right. So we were going to use this one here. These are the drills. Where's my white boat? So I usually use a bigger boat when I'm doing my unboxings, my, my unboxings, my kidding ups. It's just with the Tic Tac containers, it's a little bit easier to have something with the, with the spout. And all of my bigger, bigger trays have been used. And I like to use a non diamond painted tray so that the wax doesn't gunk it up and the drills should just fall down really easily fall down like like should just pour really easily because i don't know if you've noticed the more you use a diamond painting tray it starts gunking up with wax or whatever you use and eventually the stuff just doesn't pour as nicely I've been tempted to test out what would happen if I put my trays in the dishwasher or something. Do I want to do that? Like, what kind of weird, harmful plastic is this? And it'll contaminate my dishes or something. Because, you know, wait, I didn't close that. I closed that there. There. Because... I'm pretty sure this is not meant to be like food safe. So So maybe putting it in the dishwasher might not be a good idea. Could always have like a separate sponge for the no this is not going to fit. Separate sponge for the diamond painting that I use to clean it my trays or what I just do is like oh well the tray is gunked up and I'll just this will just be my new tray that I use to put wax on top of and then get a new one now if it's one of the ones if I if I ever end up buying trays if that's if is that gonna be my next accessory of choice if I start going buying like different 3D printed trays, those ones I'd probably make the effort to clean. But my free ones, maybe not. Like this, I would never bother cleaning. This is a once it's gunked up, it's just getting tossed. In, I don't know, is this recyclable plastic? Probably, it's plastic, right? Four. I don't know if it is recyclable plastic. I know there's like certain plastics that, you know, when you buy it, it has a little like recycling picture on the back of it. A 
I'm just like, is there a recycling picture on it? I was reading somewhere that even if you put your stuff in the recycling and it is like the correct recycling, that a lot of it still just go to the landfill. <laughs> it's sad. This is such a this is such a not um, environmentally friendly um, hobby. I'm just telling you. Like, look at all this plastic. It's this is not an environmentally friendly hobby. Nope, not whatsoever. Ooh, I wonder if they're gonna start like. I can see why, why having it the kit already is is a thing. It's convenient. You don't have to have a stash like me, but I have enough of a stash. I probably could. I mean, I've done the two. I've done three Heaven and Earth designs that were about a forty by fifty with mostly my spare drills. I I did buy a couple that had that I didn't have enough of, but probably like 80%, probably more than 80% of the drills were from my spares. So I have probably have enough spares to, to diamond paint things without the, the drills, probably do. And I'm doing the coloring book image from Crystal Canvas Art Designs using my my spare rhinestones. So I'm thinking this needs the big one. Actually, I think it probably could have fit in the small one. It's not it's not over halfway. Let's try it. Yeah, that that didn't need the big one. I'm getting bad at my guesstimating. I just need to do a little shaking. There. What was I talking about before I was like distracted by not picking the right size container? That's the one problem with having choices in the container size is you have choices in the container size. So when like you're doing the bottles, there's only one size. So you just pour it in there and if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't fit, then you get another bottle or you put it off to the side and hope that you have enough bottles. <laughs> But I do like that there is the choices of the sizes, so. There, there. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I was talking about before I got distracted by, <laughs> by it not fitting or me having to See, this one, this one is pretty full. I think, I think I need the bigger one. Yeah. Okay, 13. Okay, at least these are all small ones, so... Move out some. So I think I think there's a high likelihoodness chance that this is all gonna fit. I think I'm gonna hope that it's all gonna fit. How many more colors do I have? I don't know. I still have like halfway. <laughs> I guess we will see. We will see if it fits. Because I have 25, there would have been enough space for 30, 30 of the small ones. So that's five extra. So that's already, I'm already using two. So that's three extra, I think. Yeah, so. 
Okay, I think this needs the big one. Ah, okay. Or does it? Does it? Did I make the wrong choice and I'm going to move this to the other container? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not going to fit. I'm just trying to be frugal in my big containers. Trying to be frugal in my big containers. Because I might not have enough space. Well, the other one only has 22 colors, so... Or is it going to be the thing where the two bigger ones are actually in the same container? <laughs> because this one just took up too much, too much space. Could be. Y is 18, just making sure. Yeah, that's, there's no way this is going to fit. Okay, so, so new. I think it's, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this into just the, the what's left in the space. I'm just going to keep kitting up into this and then move it to the other one, hopefully. Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. There's just, so wait. Let's highlight this one, even though it's obvious. Well, I could finish, I could highlight the last ones of this, because Okay, let's hope it fits. Let's hope it fits. Although I did kit up some other things in the Tic Tac boxes in my previous ones. I could possibly move these to those ones if there's some space in those. It's in the other room though, so. Okay, so I'm hoping there'll be space. I do still have I might not even have to do that, but I'm just looking at some of these and they look like they they might have a lot. So thinking it might not fit. And I might have to go pause the video, go to the other room, get this other stuff that I kitted up in Tic Tac containers and see if there's one that has a better, that will fit. There. Okay. 21 has a lot. I don't know, this is looking, looking slim. They're giving me too many extras. Huh? See, this one looks pretty full also. And I still have three more colors. Okay. 
Okay, three more colors. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Finish hitting down. Maybe a miracle these will both fit in the small containers. <laughs> I don't know about the last one. This one I feel like should, but the last one I don't know. And This last one, yeah, I, I think it's slim that it's going to fit into the small one, but maybe. It's not completely full. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. So, yeah, I'm just one container. It's just one container too much. So, okay, I'm gonna go pause this video, go get my other Tic Tac containers and see if there's ones that I could use. Oops, hit. Okay, so these are the other ones that I had kitted up previously. And I mean, I do have extra, extra space in this one if what I do is, what I will do Okay, so what I'll do is Remove this here. Move that. Okay. There. And this one here. that in here. There. into there so if I move this here although I did just I did just remove that so um, it might not stick uh, it might not stay stuck so I'm gonna go and write 058 beach because I'm I have had these ones peel off when I restick them that I don't want to have it fall off. So there, at least. So this one is nice and full. And I can Move this here. And do this. Move that that way. So now this green one can go into here. Okay, add one of 
those. Put that there. There you go. This fits in there now. So now this one is the the one with green. This one is 276 sunflowers. And this one is green. There. So, so yeah, the stuff I kitted up last week had a little bit more space, probably because they were smaller. So, there you go. And I do have this one in case I'm not able to fit the last diamond painting in here. I still have one last diamond painting to kit up. So the last diamond painting I'm kitting up is this one here. The let me take out my garbage here. Is this fishies here? Yes, I know my 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 desk is messier now because I have stuff on it. I have Tic Tac containers here. So this one is 162, so probably an earlier one. One sixty two. These fishies. And this one is from DIY Digital Art from May 2021. So, yeah, a year old. So this one is actually, I don't know if you can tell, see, it's its not diamond painted, it's a circle. This part here is not diamond painted, so it's a full circle though. So I'm going to go for this one by diameter. So this is probably 34, 33 and a half, let me see. And this one is, yeah, 33 and a half. So we'll just go for 33.5 diameter. Did I spell that right? Diameter. Okay. Yep. No one, I would never win the spelling bee. I did just see this morning in the news that some person won the spelling bee. And I'm like, that will be not me. I Spelling is not my forte. I cannot spell at all. So just be happy that there's squiggly lines when you type. <laughs> Otherwise, my comments would be probably very badly spelled. So, so 22 colors. Okay, so this one, did I, oh, did I show it? So this one is from DIY Digital Art. I got this back in May 2021. So. DIY Digital Art was actually one of the first of the budget companies to, to contact me to do a unboxing for, and they asked me to do it prior to me even getting to a thousand subscribers, which now I feel like the, there's so many diamond painting companies now that they're like, they don't wait for you to be at a thousand subscribers anymore. But back when I, I sound like I'm an old timer diamond painting, um, channel person now, but back when I started, they did not start contacting you. The, 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 the PR package people did not start really contacting me until I got to a thousand subscribers. I only had like, I think I only had everyday e-crafts and DIY digital art to, that contacted me before I got to a thousand. So, but now there's so many budget diamond painting companies popping up. Like, yeah, there's just so many of them. 
that when sometimes their their name of their store i don't like it like it just makes no sense they were probably just getting a domain name any domain name and i'm like i don't know that doesn't sound like a diamond painting company uh sometimes i say yes anyway but yeah so the some of the names of these budget companies are a little on the eh. <laughs> But I mean, some of them have been around for a while, so... So, okay, so that one is that, and it'll fit. Where's the top to this? Okay. So yeah, the other one is green, and this one will just stay white, so... That will be the differentiation. And plus, these are going to be slightly bigger. Um, that's why I was like, I'm hoping it'll still fit the Tic Tac container. So let's just put in two here, hoping that I will have the space. So number two, I'm going to need the big one. There's actually two containers for it. I mean, two bags for it. I don't know if I need two containers. Maybe I just need one. I'm hoping I just need one. I think it should work. Okay, let's hope I could add the lid. Okay, yeah, see? Two baggies fit. Number three. Yeah, after all of that, like, which one will I be able to fit this with? Too many. colors at least they're all going to the same place so it doesn't matter that I had to do the shuffling a little bit it was just for the for this video they weren't all fitting in just the two tic tac containers I had taken out on that one this next one okay let's let's just put the sticker back I don't think it's gonna fit into the small container so Six. This one only has a little bit, probably for the, the fishes orange parts. There. Getting kind of hungry, like what time is it? <laughs> 6 o'clock p.m. Okay, so that's why I'm getting kind of hungry. It's dinner time. I'm actually recording this after work. I had work and because it's a Friday and yeah, I'm recording this after work. So 
not my normal recording day. Let's see, seven forty-one. Mainly, what am I recording tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. I have. What am I recording? Oh, I have an unboxing I have to do for crafties. I did just finish my last crafties, so I'm going to add the finish of my previous crafties to my new unboxing of my crafties. And then... I don't have any other unboxings. Um, I did, like, I took a pause in my... Um, orders, I guess, with the for the PR packages, just because I was just getting too many of them at once. So I took a pause. So this is the pause between my, just so that I could catch up with my other ones. And the, the so yeah, there might be a point where I was like, ah, oh, I have no more unboxings. Um, but no, this is this is the pause between my my. Right now, it's the pause so that I could catch up because. Yeah, I have a couple unboxings that I did last week that I do want to finish a couple of them. So I'm working on that. And I just don't like having too many with me. And even though most of the companies are understanding that, yes, it takes time to for me to make my videos, especially with me finishing some of them. It takes some time, so I just don't like it looming. I just don't like having it just be like looming that I I have I like yeah. So I I kind of yeah. I, this is this is the pause between my my next orders. So while I. Catch up, catch up. And plus I kinda like sometimes the pause between the PR packages. It gives me it gives me a chance to maybe diamond paint some other things. Although with me deciding to probably just diamond paint the partials and things like that and then have any of the rounds that I get, if I'll just kit them up and have them in reserve so that my mom could diamond paint them and then It'll allow me to get through other stuff that I want to diamond paint too. Because I mean, I want to diamond paint the stuff that comes in the PR packages too. I just don't, I don't have the time anymore. Like I, 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 ha I like, no, I just, I just don't have enough time. It's, yeah, you wish you had more time. Why is time so, why is time such a commodity? <laughs> And I am not obligated to finish the diamond paintings. I just do that because I want to finish the diamond paintings. So I'm just, yeah. So that I don't become an unboxing channel. Although I think I have enough finishes that I'm not an unboxing channel. Uh, so yeah. I have to show my mom's finishes. She has done a lot. My mom has finished a lot that I have not shown on the channel. I need to do it. But hey, maybe if I don't get an unboxing, then I can do that video will be my mom's finished video. That slot, time slot, because apparently I need some, I need some bigger, smaller containers. All I have out is the bigger ones. That time slot can be my mom's finish. Yeah, I think I'm just reserving it for like, when do I have space in my channel to put it in? But it'll at least be two or three um, videos because yeah, my mom, I think the last time I, fin um, I recorded, I went up to finish number 36. And I was at, at was at 80 something when she gave me her last ones and then she just told me she only has three left So I'm guessing she's gonna be at 90 something finishes so that yeah 36 to 90 something. Yeah, that'll be a lot 
Yeah, my mom has diamond painted a lot. <laughs> I'm glad she is enjoying it. And she wants me to bring more. It's really, really helping my stash situation. <laughs> I wonder if she would want to try a square. I don't know. She might hate it. I know there's a lot of folks that hate the squares. I know there's a lot of folks that don't like the rounds either. So... And diamond paint both of them. But I do have my, my favorites. Yeah, I'm pondering if my mom would... I don't know. I don't think she'd like the, the squares. It just takes a little bit more effort. Because there's an orientation. And plus, most of my squares have a lot more colors. <laughs> so she might not like to do them. So yeah, smaller Tic Tac containers. Oh, I forgot to open it before I kind of need two hands to open the Tic Tac containers if you're going to take off the lid. You only need one hand if you're just doing this. Okay, so at least this one I'm not I'm not going to like run out of containers of space cuz yeah. All those other ones, I was like, oh no, how am I fixing it? Yeah, that one's gonna fit. So yeah, that, the other one, I just had too many that went into the a third row in this hitting up that, yeah, I would have had to. So I think I'm just going to move this here to give it a little bit more of a like here's the barrier there we go all right there is the last one had a little bit of having to reshuffle things so what is this one called and we'll call it fish. There. So that will be the one at the top. All right. So have more of these Tic Tac containers. I'll just put them in my other container that I have here. I do have like these bigger containers that could hold like 60 of these small ones or I think 100 I mean 60 of these bigger ones or 120 of these ones and if I take off this this here I could add a little bit more <laughs> all right so here is stuff kitted up here to bring to when I went go and visit my mom which will have already passed by the time this video has been posted so that is all i have for today so thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting bye